the voice diary April 28. The topic is online language exchange with AI. I've been doing online language exchange with AI for six months. It's a good way to improve language, especially foreign language. When I do online language exchange with AI, I don't use any reference book because of AI. AI is a good tool produce any reference which can be personalized by topic or interest and hobbies. And then since six months, I've been researching and finding the reference from AI. It's unique. And then I found out specific prompt engineering can be modeled. When we study, we have uh, some process in lesson. I use Zoom to get the platform. And also I use uh, Google Documents to uh, reviewing the reference by doing that, it's very simple. At least uh, it takes uh, me to make reference uh, and then simply I can open online language exchange with AI with language parents uh, who teach me other languages. Now I study in Vietnamese. I study Vietnamese. So and then Vietnamese language parents they do. And meeting language parents also not difficult. I use uh, hello talk and then there are many language exchange uh, community who want to improve their language skill. So when I find and I just uh, suggest about online language exchange with AI. Most people are interested in, among them, I meet language parents. It's very simple, I can do. And then now, regularly, I meet with five language parents. Uh, some of them, uh, I openly do uh, language exchange on YouTube channel. Uh, others are not open, just uh, private, uh, privately, we do online language exchange uh, using YouTube channels. The process is very important to do that. Still, I, I can do maybe in one year, Mm. can speak Vietnamese and can listen and then proper pronunciation in Vietnamese, I hope so. It's very remarkable to improve uh, in at the speed of uh, learning any languages by using online language exchange with AI. It's simply um, many helps uh, uh, in terms of uh, relations of language parents, language family, and then and we have a community. It give us uh, many information on not only uh, language, but also uh, information, community, and the life at this level. On the internet, it feels like uh, we live together, it's very shortly. And also when we meet and in real life, and then I've been planning living in Vietnam more than one month 
if possible, in the during the winter seasons, when I have low season for my job. That is uh, that is goal to learn the terms uh, first. After that, maybe I can plan. I don't know in the future, but knowing about um, any language is very powerful. If live there, if live there, and then so on, then. Uh, good opportunity to communicate with uh, knowing people. So, online language exchange with AI gives us uh, uh, very fast and the reference um, which help us to improve any languages, especially for back. Uh, go back. Okay, so and then getting back to the point. And we have basic lesson flow about online language exchange. For example, the building vocabulary and using sentence and knowing about this grammar pattern and simple conversation improved um, frequently used the expression and also the any topic there is the way to build the vocabulary five steps rules if one chooses the five step and then uh one topic go for the other topic one step 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 big one then small one small one small one small one no six times and then i do that and then i found out those sentence of words are repeated also new words comes so and then 50 words from new words are about 25 words and the others repeated but in learning and we should know repetition is also a good way to improve language skills because we, we should get the proper pronunciation and um, speak the sentence expressions very quickly. Also, listening skills is very important. Um, get familiar with the sound. Also, one thing is uh, one topic is uh, to meet language parents. Uh, I think it's a good way to meet uh, uh, more than three language parents because uh, they have uh, language skills, but a little bit different. Their interest uh, is different. So I can choose uh, other topics we can talk about on other things. And then uh, seems something. And talking about topic and then finding something. And, and also their background of place, life, place, job, hobbies, and all different. So, and then I can talk about many things with them. It's very good to improve uh, language, expanding uh, the view, expanding the social environment. Okay, today I talk about online language exchange with AI. I will review more in detail to help my voice diary and learners who try to do online language exchange with AI. And then I can uh, give information about it.
and so people can do join uh, with me and I would like to make a community to do for those who for doing online language exchange with AI. The point is uh, online. The, the target is language exchange. And the main method is with the AI. And And simple step is here um, online using internet. Language exchange means meet language fair family, language parent. And then with AI, getting reference what to learn from the AI, the basically, and the background to internet getting points on the internet, how I use it on the internet, Wi-Fi, and the platform is uh, Zoom, and the free 40 minutes uh, Zoom is also good. And also using Google Documents, it's a good way to paste and uh, copy and paste and easy to edit. And also after then using YouTube channel, openly or privately, we share what we learned by recording uh, Zoom, uh, Zoom uh, school, Zoom classroom and using AI and then making good uh, module uh, prompt engineering in simple request to get good reference. Then and oh the end. So and most important thing is a timetable. Making timetable is very important to do online language exchange with AI. Making timetable, you can regularly study with the language parents. Uh, and then, for example, I have one person, one language parent, who is study uh, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. 6 p.m. in Vietnam, 8 p.m. in Korea. Actually, after her working, and then when she come back, and then she do uh, study 40 minutes after then she uh, uh, have dinner with family. I also, after having dinner, and then I, the point, the time at 8, 8 p.m. is the best time to me. Others, I do that 9 p.m. or 10 a.m. Uh, sometimes I'm busy, sometimes I'm very tired. It's, it's, it's hard to do regularly, even though. So, and then the basically about, maybe I think every day is okay, but uh, maybe choose one. And also I do one unique language exchange uh, because uh, I go to Bali, I go to Bali for one month's uh, surfing training. So I decided to learn the Bahasa Indonesia with the old friend who I met uh, with IQ people, and then he's good at, he's a uh, holy uh, trocot who speak many languages. He are good at, really good at speaking English. And then uh, he know about uh, ABC of learning any language. It's simple, so and then we communicate with once a week, every Wednesday, and then um, it also very helpful, you know, very unique. Sometimes I use AI, but uh, he are really expert of uh, languages. So, and then he gives some topic and he gives some expression um, in Bahasa Indonesia. 
Okay, then today I talked here, and then if I got interested more, I uh, story about in detail and uh, step by step by doing online language exchange with the AI. I copy my voice diary after then ah and then proof reader with the all by AI, AI, AI very quickly probably the about this amazing. And then I come back here. And then I try to read it again. Today, April 28th, the marks another session of my online language exchange with AI. I've been engaging in these sessions for six months now, finding them incredibly beneficial for six months now, finding them incredibly beneficial for improving my language skills, particularly in foreign languages. What does this approach is that I don't rely on any predetermined determine the reference material is that AI generates a personalized reference based on a topics of interest in making people experience engaging and enjoyable. Over these six months, I have discovered that this method allows for a unique approach to language learning. Having developed a process of utilizing platforms like a Google Doc for reviewing reference, setting up sessions through the platform like HelloTalk, the process also involves finding language same partners who are willing to teach and learn from each other. Current, I am currently I am focused on studying Russian, studying what Russian, uh, but and Vietnamese. Technology has made it easier to find language exchange partners, and the platform like Hello Talk has facilitated these connections. I also started utilizing YouTube channels, both privately and private publicly. To further enhance my learning experience, the progress has been remarkable. Within the six months, I've noticed improvement in my ability to comprehend and pronounce Vietnamese as a testament to the effectiveness of online language exchange with AI. In addition to language skills, these exchange provide insight into different culture and community. They create a sense of belonging in a global community, fostering connection beyond the language barriers. Looking or had I plan to immerse myself in the Vietnamese culture by spending more time in Vietnam. The ultimate goal is not just language adoption, but also the ability to connect with people on the deeper level. Reflecting on this journey, I believe it's essential to have a structured approach to language learning, setting up the regular session, utilizing various resources, and setting comment to the process are the component of success. In conclusion, online language exchange with AI has been a transformative experience of a rapid progress and I, a bolder and its understanding of language and culture. I encourage others to explore this method and join me in building a community dedicated to language learning and the cultural change together. We can embark on a journey of linguistic and cultural discovery. The end.